channel so today i'm going to be showing you guys how to make this jumpsuit so basically you're going to be using a fabric that is light not like this akara fabric if you want it to drape like this because you know this akara fabric has some starch to it but i'm going to be using this fabric for the illustration to show you guys exactly what you're going to do you're going to have here is going to be just your shoulder measurement because remember this is a kimono and normally when you're cutting the kimono the width is normally your shoulder measurement divided by two plus your sleeve so the shoulder measurement I'm working with is 16, divided by 2 is 8, right? So my fabric on the fold now, divided by 2, the shoulder divided by 2 is 8 here, and then plus my sleeve. So let's say I want my sleeve to be about 9 inches, right? So I'll measure the 9 inches from the distance of where my shoulder is, and then plus extra 1 inch of folding the rough end of my sleeve, because this is going to be the end of my sleeve. So that's this 1 inch here. So in total, all I have here is the 8 inches that I got from dividing my shoulder measurement into 2, which my shoulder measurement was 16, divided into 2 is 8. And then from this point of this 8, I added my sleeve length. Whatever you want your sleeve to be, you're going to add it now. After adding it, then you're going to add the seam allowance to fold the edge of this uh, the sleeve, because this is going to be the opening of your sleeve. So that's basically how you're going to get your width. So at this point now, you can go ahead and fold this into two, like double this so that you have to, you're cutting the front and the back panel together or if you want you can just start and cut the front panel after that uh, cut the back panel after that you cut the front panel so that's what i'm going to do so you're going to measure your shoulder to your waist plus extra one inch so my shoulder to my waist is 17 plus one is going to be eight, 18 so i'm going to go ahead and mark it in a straight line like this so guys, now on this straight line, I'll insert my shoulder measurement again. So the shoulder measurement I'm working with is 16 divided by 2 is 8. My sleeve width, my sleeve length is going to be 9 plus extra 1 inch of my folding at the end. That's it here. So then after that, I'm going to go ahead and put in my basic 3 inches for the back neckline. Mark that here. And then I'm going to come down by 1 inch for the back, uh, the, width, the depth here. And connect it this way so I have my back now you're going to go on and come down here by about one inch at this part here and then you're going to connect it down all the way up to where you mark these two inches of neckline so you're going to mark a straight line all the way to this point here so you can do one inch you can do 1.5 so after that you're going to mark like 12 inches of opening depending on the opening you want i'm going to be using 12 inches here because if you look at the picture it looks almost like the opening of the sleeve goes all the way to the waist so i'm going to make my 12 inches so i can get the same result so 12 inches is what i'm using here so i'm going to mark that here you see i'm marking my opening right from af this uh after the slope of my sleeve you see after that one inch so the distance of the opening here is 12 inches so you remember your uh, kimono the sleeve never goes like straight like this you have to blend it in a little so what i'm going to do is down here i'm going to come in by one inch or 1.5 depending on you i'm going to then curve it all the way to the top here so you're going to give it a curve like this so it will give it that perfect how kimono sleeve normally comes like this is going to blend in like this so then we are going to talk about the waist part that is going to join to your trouser for this waist part here is going to be the same as your hip measurement your 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 hip measurement divided by four because if you look at the trousers you see that is big it's not like exactly the hip measurement the is like the hip measurement plus maybe extra two inches is what they used for the trouser so that it will give you that flow it's not a fitted pants it's like loose all the way down this is actually just a loose jumpsuit so what we are going to be doing here because it's going to um we are going to be using drawstring at the waist so the waist here is going to be exactly the same as the hip of the pants let's say you decided to use your hip measure when you're cutting your pants you decide to use your hip measurement divided by four plus extra two inches the two inches is going to be the ease, right? Then that means the part, your top here is going to be your hip measurement divided by four plus extra two inches. So let me say, let, so that's what I'm going to be using here or extra three inches, depending on how big you want your pant to be. That same measurement is what you're going to bring up here because that same measurement is what you're going to use even at the waist of your pant and then at the waist of your top. So your hip measurement is going to be the, actual measurement on your hip 
your waist of the pants and also at the waist of this top here so now i'm going to insert it so i'm using hip measurement divided by four my hip is 20 sorry my hip is 48 divided by four is 12 i'm going to mark that here then i'm going to add extra two inches to it here right and then you can even add your ease um your seam allowance if you want to or you can take away your seam allowance from also this extra two inches you added after that you're going to bring up this line here to meet up to where this your 12 inches of sleeve came down connect it this way and then you are going to come down here by about 1.5 and then make sure you have about one inch from this corner this way and then you're going to blend it in like this so now this is going to be your top so basically we finished cutting our top the back panel is the same as the front panel except the only different thing now from your front and your back panel is that you're going to come up to this neckline now panel because we've cut our back panel now so to change it to your front panel all you have to do now is just to give it the v so you can just go ahead and just place your tape this way all the way from this three inches down to the edge of your clothes so you're going to have something that looks like this all the way to this edge here so now all you have to do to cut out your front the back panel start from here cut out the back neckline go down here follow this slope all the way cut this way down here come in here from this curve go down straight and then that's your back panel to cut your front panel cut out this straight line down this way cut this way all the way to the edge cut like this the same thing exactly the same thing you're cutting for the front is what you're cutting from the back except the neckline is the different so now that you've done that we'll move over to the trouser so guys you're supposed to fold your fabric into two and then you're going to measure from your waist to your the first line here is your waist to, uh, to your hip for me which is 10 inches then your waist to your crotch for me which is 12 inches but i dropped it by one inch because this is a jumper so i'm using 13 as my crotch um, almost flowy version of the jumpsuit it's not like fitted on the body so the crotch is must the crotch must drop like one inch so that you can get that fitting so i dropped it one inch um instead of using 12 i'm using 13 here so you see that it's more like fitted at the crotch it's not fitted at the hip it's not fitted anywhere at all so I'm, I'm dropping it like one inch at the crotch here so what you're going to do now is start inserting your measurements so come to your hip divide it by four so my hip measurement divided by four is 12 right so plus that extra two inches i talked about when i was cutting the top so that two inches of excess that is going to give me that flowy style I'm looking for, right? That's what I'm going to insert here. So 14 is what I'm going to mark. I'm going to bring that also down here. And then I'm also going to take it up to my waist because this is where my waist is, right? So my hip measurement divided by four plus that extra two inches that I need. And then at this point now, you're going to connect it this way in a straight line like this all the way up all the way down and then you're going to give it like a curve like this right you're going to give it this curve here and your crotch here is going to be just your hip measurement for this part here how you're going to get what you use for this a crotch curve here is you're going to divide your normal hip measurement by four and then after dividing it by four you're going to divide it again by four so basically you're dividing that's how you're going to do this so at this point you just go ahead cut this part cut out your crotch cut it all the way down, split this part open. So that's basically it. You're not doing any darting here because when you put your drawstring here, it's going to gather the waist of this here and pull it together. So that's basically it now. So you're going to cut this out and then with this here, you're going to cut your back panel. So guys, one more thing I didn't say is that that two inches here, remember we just did hip measurement divided by four plus two inches, but we never said anything about our seam allowance. So I would advise you to do your hip measurement divided by four plus three inches, except you are comfortable with taking the seam allowances from those from the two inches that you added just know that it will shrink it up a little bit more so maybe do three inches and then so that your seam allowance can come out from that three inches like if you want it to look like how the one on the picture is so like i'm saying is what i'm saying is divide your hip measurement by four instead of that two inches use three inches so that your that three inches can contain your seam allowance because i'm saying if you use two inches your hip measurement divided by four plus two inches and then you come back again and take out seam allowance from it it will make it smaller that means you're working with just extra room of one inch or so so that's what i'm saying like whatever you decide to do try to remember that you will still take away seam allowances from it 
so now i'm going to just tell you guys how you're going to cut your front panel guys this is the part where you have to pay the most attention because i'm not going to be cutting it out but i'll try to explain it the best i can so this here just what you have i'm going to just point out the difference between your front and your back panel like i did for the top the only difference now is that you've cut out the front panel right so what you're going to do now is to go to the crotch so you folded another fabric now and you've placed so i'm saying so you've placed this your front panel so this is my front panel now right you've placed it again on your back panel and remember this is going to be two when you cut it out right because you're going to cut it out this way and then cut it out you have two pieces for your front panel so what i'm saying now is that you're going to act like this bottom one here is now my back panel for the purpose of this video so i'm just going to act like this one behind it here is my back panel so all you have to do is that you're going to extend your back panel crotch by 2.5 right so from where my front panel stops which is here which is the front of this crotch right this one here i'm going to extend it by 2.5 on that same straight line here so that will be somewhere here that's the first change for the back panel and then you, you when you fold your back panel you're going to make sure that the fabric is longer at the back at the back here which is the second change make sure that the back pattern is going to be longer it's going to be longer by the whatever you got for this crotch here so when you divided yours whatever distance you got remember mine is three inches so mine is going to be longer by three inches which is the third change now so just know that you have three inches up here so after that now what you're going to do is i'm going to have a difference of three inches at the top of my pants and then what you're going to do is remember at this point now you've cut out here you've cut out this part here so i'm going to act like i'm going to tuck it in just away so that we don't see it and not confuse it right so you've cut out your front panel you've taken away this part it's going to look like an l right it's going to look something like this right so let's say you've cut out this excess here this fabric you've cut this thing out now and it's looking something like this you're going to just come in two inches from that point right two inches from that point two inches from the waist of your front panel just come in there this is because of your butt at the back coming by two inches and then you're going to connect it to that three inches that you have at the top of your pants which is here and then after that you're going to measure out the waist of your pants Remember, the waist that we had for the front panel is what you're going to also have at the back panel because there's no zip here. So the back and the front is going to be the same. So the waist that I have here is 14. I'm just going to make sure that I place my ruler on this straight line. So there's a straight line which is where my waist is. And then you're going to make sure that that 14 inches fits in here. So you see, I have 14 here. Let me say it again. After taking away 2 inches here, I came, I came in 2 inches from this point here. And then I marked it up to the three inches I got for my crotch. And then the next thing I'm going to do is to take this, my waist measurement now and make sure to place it back and get the exact measurement. So I'm going to mark it like this now, you see. So now I have my back, my 14 inches of the back. Uh, I have this 14 inches again at my back. Except this time, this one is going to be slant. But it's still the same waist measurement. So this waist measurement in front and the waist measurement at the back is the same thing. Except the one at the back is just slanted. But it's still the same 14 I have in front that I have at the back. So now the only thing you have to do is to come to your hip. Your, sorry, come to your crotch line. You're going to add one inch to it, right? And then you're going to connect this point here. Because your fabric is still going to extend here. You're going to connect it like this. And then you're going to give it a straight line all the way down or just connect it all the way down to the end of your pant, right? So now when you go to cut your pant, the crotch at the back, this is how you're going to now extend it. So you see, you see this line that we drew here, you're just going to curve it in this way, curve it in this way, curve it in this way, until it meets this your crotch here. So you see how you're going to draw it in. So this, our line here, is going to just draw in this way, so let me mark it so that you see. So this your two inches that is here. It's going to just come in here, come in here, all the way until it meets these two inches here. And then you're going to also cut this one in a straight line all the way down. So you see, that's going to be your back panel. Guys, I really hope you guys understood this. Because that's um, this is just what someone showed me on Instagram and I'm trying to explain it to you guys. But I don't have a lot of fabric around to keep cutting every video. So that's why I try my best to explain it without cutting it. But I really, really hope you guys understood it. 
um, and this here now, this fabric, um, this crotch here is going to be your back pattern. So basically your back pattern is just going to be you. You're going to cut it again this way, all the way like this to the crotch of this extension of two inches all the way down. And then the next thing you're going to do is to come up again and then cut it all the way to this extension of this 14 inches waist. And then like this, you're going to cut it all the way down to the end. So that's basically how you're going to cut the front and the back panel. If you don't understand this, you can also go back to my Palazzo Pants tutorial. And if you watch it, just know that all you have to do is just know that you're not going to be putting any dart and the hip measurement is what you're using at the waist. It's even easier that way. You know that there's no difference in waist. All you have to do is just to take the hip measurement, put it here, and that will be it. So that's basically it. At this point, I would assume that you've cut out your pants. So now we'll go and talk about how to join the two of them together. I've cut out my back panel, my pants too, in a smaller fabric now. So you see, this is my top. So you see the, the front panel and the back panel are cut the same, except the neckline here. So you see, this is it here. So this is my back this is the front so all i have to do is now to open it up this way now and i'm going to take this one place one on each side here right side facing each other and then all i have to do now is just to go ahead and join the shoulder together going all the way down with half an inch and then when i get to do when i get to this point here is just to fold it this way just how you fold cloth and then fold it all the way around and then once i do that i'm going to close it up on this way and then close it up to, to this point here and then i'm going to use bias to run around the neckline so start one side use bias to run around the neckline and then come down here so now you finish everything on the top for the pants all you have to do is to join the crotch together so take your front panel you see this is my front panel my back panel has this angle here so if I place it, you'll see it has this angle at the top. So all you have to do is just to take it this way and join the crotch together. Take your front also, join the crotch together this way, right side facing each other. Close it up, close it up. And then when you open it up, you can go ahead and put in a, a pocket at the side. Just come down like 1.5 from the waist, 1.5 from the waistline. And then you're going to insert your pocket here. I've joined my pants and then closed up the crotch. Remember to put in your pocket. This one here is just a simple pocket that goes into the side. Just cut out your piece of fabric and join it. So this is my top. So now we have to put the two of them together. And to do that, all you have to do is to take your top now. So you see my pants is on the right side. All I have to do is to find the center back of my top. So I'm going to go ahead and notch that. So this is the center back somewhere here. So I'm going to just mark it with a chalk and then I'm going to place it to the wrong side. So you see, this is the center back of my pant too. So I'm going to take it and place it center back to the center back and then I'm going to join it this way. So I'm going to join it all the way around to the front. So guys, as you can see, I've joined it to this here. So I used the top to wrap around the trouser and the trouser was facing on the right side. So you see everything is joined now we need to put in the drawstring and i have to say if if you're if you, when you're joining the top and the bottom and you find out that maybe the pants waist is bigger than the top waist just give it a little pleat if, if it's not if the difference is not too much just give it it won't hurt to give it maybe one or two pleats because when you still put in the when you still put in the um this drawstring casing it will still it will still um give like that gather thing on the waist so it won't matter because it will still pull it together to put the drawstring is cut out about 1.5 or about two inches of strap that will go around your waist and then the, the first the end here you're going to fold it this way right so that you have a clean finish like this right and then you're going to fold in half tuck in half an inch on this side and then tuck in half an inch on this side right and then you have something that looks like this right you have something that looks like this here all the way down you can go ahead and iron it it will look something like this so you are going to take it the way it is now and place it on your pants right noting that you're going to make sure that it is at the center place it on your pants just place it on your pants. that will be better and then you're going to just go ahead and sew the bottom line and sew the top line all the way around like this so that when you're done you're going to take your elastic uh, your your strap these straps and then you're going to pass it inside of it 
so you're going to make a top stitch and a bottom stitch so let me show you what it looks like um, the casing is going to come all the way and meet each other at the center front of your pants so like that or you can go and put it inside it's up this way and the same thing is what you're going to do fold the edges and then you're going to just sew it from the top part here this way i'm going to go and do that now so guys as you can see i've joined this here so all you have to do is to take it sew it down the same way you sewed your uh, top how you joined your top you see that's the same seam that I used i used to join my top to my trouser i also just added this also added this casing to it so you see this will help me hide the seam if you're trying to if you're trying to make it look clean when you're done and you want to hide this seam at the waist this is the method you will use so now what you have to do is you're going to take this casing now and fold it on your trouser so if i fold it out now my casing is inside here so all i have to do and i sewed my casing this way so it's going to help me hide this seam at from the top part so if i pull it now fold it in and sew it down on your trouser so i'm going to just take it here hiding hiding half an inch and then use it to attach it right on the trouser so i'm going to just make a stitch now joining it around the trouser so guys this is it here you see how clean mine looks so let's see the inside now so you see the inside you see my casing is on the inside and now you can't see my seam because my seam is also inside of this casing all the way around inside of the waist so after that what you're going to do is guys when you come to this center part go back and forth like make your stitch up to four times like zigzag 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 several times here and then when you're done you're going to follow this opening inside of your trouser like you're going to you see there's this seam that is holding the center of your trouser that's what i'm saying like the the lower one try to stitch it several times so that once you open this one a little bit you will not lose this stitch right so that this stitch will not unravel with time so the next thing you're going to do now is it's time to pass this is the loop for our uh row but i decided to also try to put elastic so that you know if you put your elastic it will help to hold the waist because it's not all the time you want to tie this string so tight on your waist so i would advise to at the same time you're putting this strap here you can go ahead hold the two of them on the safety pin and then pass it starting from one side here and then you're going to pass it all the way around the waist right once you come out on the other end you cut off the excess and make it just exactly what you would need but the strap once you come out on the excess you just allow it to drop right but the strap needs to come out on the two ends but the el elastic will be hidden inside of the casing so guys this is it here so you see and for the elastic you might use your waist measurement and might not like two inches from it depending on how stretchy the elastic is just one look so this is exactly how you're going to get that pattern and guys if you didn't understand that trouser part don't worry i'll still make a different video the person that sent it sent me two different styles and the bottom part is almost the same for the two of them so for the second time i'm going to try to use a pattern paper to explain it better and also if you have any question based on this one just drop it on the comment section and i'll try to answer it in the next video so and and try not to use akara for this because i don't know how it will come out it won't relax it will be bulky and it will be starchy so maybe use like a fabric that is a little bit stretchy and has like just like the one on the on the thumbnail so thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Bye.